Both. All right. While we're on the topic of Valentine's Day, who doesn't love dessert, right? Especially your partner, I'm guessing. Chef Martin Lopez has a cake recipe for us today that combines both chocolate and spice, which makes the perfect combination to spice up your sweetie. Get it? That's spice, it? sweetie? Oh, yeah, get I get it. <laughs> and he told me he wants me to try it. So I'm fork in hand and I am ready to go. So let's express through the making of this product so that I can get to it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Ken. And you know, one of the things that I want to make, because a lot of people think, is this going to be spicy? No, it's not going to be spicy. Okay. It It'll just have a flavor. little kick to it. Yes, just a slightly kick to okay. it, which is going to give you that, that, the aftertone in flavor, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be like you're having salsa. And, and you don't want the, the spiciness to fight the sweetness and the, and the taste of overall. You want it to enhance it. That's Correct. Yeah, right. exactly. And if you see, we, we're adding cinnamon to the flavor uh, and tablilla Mexican chocolate, which it's also going to add another layer of flavor right, to the cake. What do we do? Taste it. Just take a bite. Taste and then it we're now? Gonna go into oh, okay. Ingredients. And then yeah. you're going to make it. All just right. take a little bite. Tell me what you think. It's almost like a cheesecake, right? Like well, a you can taste cheesecake. it right off the bat. Yeah, and you see all those different flavors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing, too, that I want to talk about was the, is the garnish. Right? Right. And we're going to get to that in just yeah, a second. Yeah, I want to talk to you about the peppers, but go ahead. Let, let's talk about the ingredients really right. fast. And the recipe is going to be posted for you guys so you can make it for your special one and your Valentine. Mm -hmm. Right? There it is right so there. there we go. What is, is it? it? Who is it? The Where recipe. is it? Oh, oh, well, it's right here. Look, <laughs> that's awesome. So here we go. So we got chocolate chips, mm -hmm. Mexican tablilla. This is a Mexican is it? chocolate. It's a Mexican tablilla. It's tablilla? Tablilla. Okay. And what it is, it's been the cacao that has been processed oh, with right. sugar. Okay. So you buy that at the store. All right. Very that's simple what it looks to like. get. Yeah, you get them. Sugar, cinnamon, and the chili ancho pepper. Okay. So you're going to put them in the food processor. Mm -hmm. You're going to pass them through it, pulverize mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And then when that's done, you're going to separately, you're going to melt your butter, bring okay. it to a boil, all right. right? Not burn it, just right. bring it to a boil, get it nice and hot. Then all your blend of spices and chocolate are going to be put into the, into the butter. Okay. Right? And then you're going to add your Kahlua and your sour cream, Mexican Kahlua. sour cream. Yeah, so see, I'll see all these different flavors are starting to yeah. come bind yeah. together. And then at the very end, you got to mix your eggs until nice and fluffy. Okay. And they're going to get a lot of volume, and uh, you're going to bake them up. Combine them together. You just want to continue to have that air into your batter, and then you're going to bake them off. Absolutely 350 delicious. at what? 350 for about 30 to 45 minutes. All right. But there's one thing I want to talk to you guys about baking really fast. Okay. When you bake them... You're gonna put them in a spring pan mold, mm -hmm. right? Generously put your butter in it. Okay. And then you're gonna cover your, your pan with foil. Because? Because we're gonna submerge it in just a tiny little bit of water. Really? It's not gonna be a lot. What this is gonna create, just put a little just bit of a water. Little space. Yeah, and then just put your cake right over okay. it. Okay. Then this goes into the oven. Right. What this is gonna do is gonna give us the steam because this is almost like a custard, right? We want okay. a nice, a slow, long mm -hmm. heat. So that's how we're gonna bake it. When it's done, you're gonna pull up your entire thing. How do you know it's finished? How do you to know the it's touch, done? it's gonna to look like a souffle almost. It's gonna be nice and fluffy and big, and it's gonna it's gonna collapse when you take it out of the All right. oven. Real quick, the topping. Topping the chocolate, yes. Sweet peppers Sweet with chocolate, peppers. absolutely delicious. If you have not tried them at home, I suggest you go to the grocery store. Get some sweet peppers, melt your chocolate, and just as if you were doing chocolate dipped strawberries, mm -hmm. dip them on. Delicious. Really? Yes. That is a new one for me. Yeah, I've never right. heard of that. Yeah, it's good. It's because they give you that little spice and mm -hmm. it goes great mm -hmm. with chocolate, but at the same time, um, it's got a really, really nice. You could serve those by themselves too. Right? Yeah, or cut a little, little, little sliver of it, mm -hmm. and ultimately, what is going to be. Fun is just to hang out in the kitchen with your loved one, right? Absolutely. That's what I always do. That's what we're doing right now. That's right. You can That's find right. this recipe at chefmartinlopez.com. Don't cut your finger off on I TV. know, I almost that did. That would be Oop. awful. Live TV. Nope. Uh, <laughs> chefmartinlopez.com. We will also post this segment at camov.com slash great day following the show. Sweet, but not really spicy. It just, it just has a little... You're scared of the spicy, okay. and it's not spicy like that. All right, well, then we need to go to break because I got to come over there and try. Yeah, come, I think you should. Come join us. We're waiting.